Hi everybody. Well, today I'm here to talk about one of the burning questions which students have. How to clear backlog? Well, let me put this out straight. If you are someone who is serious of cracking the JE exam with a handsome score, a handsome rank, then mastering the art of clearing backlog is a must for you. And for that, here are some key points which you can follow. Number one, identify. Identify the chapters which are creating this huge mountain of backlog. Because you people are mature enough to understand that until and unless you know what the problem is, you can never come up with a plan to solve it, right? So the identification of the chapters which fall in the category of backlog should be done as soon as possible and very, very honestly. Number two, no new backlog. See people, please realize that already there are a lot of chapters, a lot of topics in your syllabus which are undone. And that is what is creating a burden for you, right? So your focus should be that you are not adding any more chapters, any more topics in that list because it will only increase your burden. All right. So from this point onwards, from now on, promise yourself that you will never lag behind. You'll be extremely regular with your classes, with your sessions. You will pay extreme attention to what's being taught in the classes. You will not procrastinate with doing your homework, with practicing, with solving questions, with, with solving assignments. Why? Because only then it will be ensured that your current is not converting into backlog. Number three, divide and conquer strategy. You know, when you are making a weekly timetable, a study schedule, what you must make sure is that every day or at least every alternate day, you set aside two to three hours to study the backlog topics, the backlog chapters. And the remaining time, the remaining majority of the time should be exclusively reserved for the present topics, the current chapters. And you know what? You can optimize the two to three hours which you are devoting to backlog. How exactly? By studying or preparing through questions. Listen to me carefully. You should start with the solved examples. Then you must move on to the questions in the module or the assignments or the DPPs, followed by PYQs. And in this entire journey of solving questions, in whatever step you get stuck, you can always go to the theory, that concept, that result, that formula, understand, and then come back to the question. This way of preparing through questions, A, is extremely effective, B, is a big time saver because it allows you to get done with the topic, get done with the chapter very quickly and very nicely. One more point which I would like to add here is, let's see, there are certain chapters of 12th grade which are straight away connected, they are straight away linked to certain chapters of 11th. For example, if you want to master probability, which is a 12th grade topic, then you must have a strong grip over PNC, which is in your 11th grade syllabus. Similarly, if you want to excel at 12th calculus, then that has functions and limits as its foundation, which are chapters of 11th. So what I want you to understand is that you must strategize your study plan in such a way that you are able to prepare and study these connected topics, these linked chapters simultaneously because it's always smart, it's always wise, it's always intelligent to cover dependent topics together. Next point is exploit your holidays. I know you all would be feeling that ma'am, there is loads of syllabus, tons to study, we don't have time to study the backlog topics. Well, let me tell you guys, it's all about intention. If there's a will, there's a way. And one such way out is to use your holidays, to take advantage of your holidays. Like, you know, the ones that you get during festivals, for example, Diwali vacation. 
or you know the couple of day offs which you get during the week maybe because your session gets cancelled or maybe some public holiday pops up so you can club that along with the weekends to increase the duration and these are the days which you have to exploit you have to completely leverage completely take advantage of to cover your backlog chapters see everybody has 24 hours in a day but if you are sincere enough then you will consciously be able to steal time in the available day to cover your backlog next and very important point present is majority past is minority when you're making your weekly timetable your weekly study schedule make sure that majority of your time is spent on the present topics you know what's currently going on in the class because if you spend a lot of time on clearing your previous work then even when it gets done you will have new backlog created because your current chapters would have converted into backlog and people trust me if your j journey becomes a backlog cycle you are in a big big trouble last but definitely not the least is that quality wins over quantity and smart work wins over hard work this is the mantra which you have to constantly keep in mind because knowing 100% of the syllabus never fetches you a good rank what does is knowing just 60 to 70% of your syllabus but very thoroughly very strongly very very nicely so first of all stop panicking instead strategize prioritize the completion of those chapters those topics first which carry high weightage handsome share in the paper and then your target should be on revision constant revision crazy revision repeated revision that is what is going to help you are you understanding so don't be in a hurry to clear your backlog see in just handful of days you you cannot get done with much instead every day every day taking small small steps towards the direction of clearing backlog is what will eventually reward you is what will eventually help you and work in your favor so staying consistent is the ultimate key just believe in yourself and keep persevering all the best